Hi, I'm Max, and today I'm gonna show you how to build a medieval. Well, that was creepy. And today I'm gonna show you how to build a medieval bridge house. As always, if you are interested in the world download, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description. Now to start building. Firstly, you would like to find the river that is around 40 to 45 blocks across to build the bridge upon. Build an arch as follows. The bridge will be 9 blocks wide, from one stone break to another. Build the same arch on the other side. Now fill in the bridge floor with spruce planks. Build a smaller arch with one block gap from the main one. Now we'll build a 3x3 support pillar down to the bottom from these corners. And four more in these corners. Raise out the pillar 5 blocks from the bridge floor. Raise the pillar on one side to the same height. Add a chisel stone brick between two arch gap every other block. Place a stone truss below a chisel block. Next we'll build a house support.
Then we'll start placing a house layout. Place 5 locks outward in the middle. Raise the column 4 blocks in each corner. Extra column right here. I'll add another section to the house. Now we can place down a house floor. I forgot a column here. Let's add a top frame as well. Now we can fill in the wall. I'll leave these for windows. This will be a door to the gatehouse. Build the crenellation for the gatehouse. Connect the gatehouse to the main house. and fill in the stone floor. More crenellations. I think I'd rather have one led away up to the main house, so I'll fill up the rest. I'll leave that one there. Let's do some floor plan and divide the room.
Now we can build the roof. Start with the main roof frame. The small roof would be a basic stairs all the way. Drag it all the way to the side. Now we'll finish the rest of the frame on other sides. Let me light up the interior before I finish the roof. And close the roof with deep slate bricks. Let us seal off the rest of the walls. Close a small roof as well. And the other one. Now we'll refine the roof shape stairs. Replace the deep slate part as well. And add a stairs to the overhead. At this point, the exterior shape is quite complete. Now we can start detailing. I'll make an arch between bridge pillars.
Now, to make the pillars look corroded, I'll replace the stone with blocks like grey concrete, deep slate, cyan terracotta, and tuff. Make it a gradient, going up darker to light the shade. We'll add a railing to the bridge using lecterns. And place a spruce slab on top. Add a couple stone walls to the chisel gaps. Now at the bridge approach, I would like to make a lamp post. More on the bridge as well. Add a stone slab between four corners. And a trap door as well, for more detail. Stairs at the base also. Now let's make an arch support for the house. The same on the other side. And an arch between the gatehouse. I use a spruce wood. and the floor support. Oh, and there's support for the side of the house as well.
Now let's add a fake window so it appears. Let's detail in the gatehouse. Using a spruce wood on a stone really add a contrast to the build. Now onto the house exterior. I've changed some locks here to barrels, decorations and storage function as well. some lighting on the outside. Now we can duplicate the detail to the rest of the house. Let's make a double wood stripe on the roof. I'll replace the deep slate with spruces. To add more texture to the build, we use smooth stones and cobblestones. Place the block randomly around the build. You can use the mossy blocks and cracked stone to make the build look even older as well. Let's build the way up to the house.
Let us add a bit more detail to the gatehouse before we continue with the interior. Some more lighting. and the lighting under the gatehouse. The exterior is now complete. Let's head inside the house. Let's place down the windows first. On a second thought, let's close off this window. Now we can place down the upper floor. Here's the way up to the attic. Let's start first with the storage area. Small shelf on the ceiling. And a proper lighting. In this corridor, I want to add something to the side, so it doesn't look too empty. Let's make a cabinet. Next, the bedroom. A double bed here, and a large shelf on top. And a wardrobe.
some greenery as always. Now to the kitchen. Set a smoker in this corner and a blast furnace in the other. I'll put a normal furnace into the floor. and a carpet as well. Let's get ourselves a ladder to the attic. And let's make a doorway in this corner. Alright, this floor is complete. Now let's not forget to place the window here. Now we need an enchanting area. I'll give us a bit more headspace. We'll make this little area a reading table. And a small workspace on the other. Now I'm gonna add more cabinet to the side of the attic. Also, a little truss support on the roof. Okay, the interior is complete. There's one more detail. And we're done. Thank you all so much for watching. This is quite a long tutorial so thank you if you're still here. If you enjoyed this be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, if you are interested in downloading this build, feel free to check out my Patreon, it will help support the channel by a lot. 
Have a nice day to you all. I'll see you in the next one.